recipe you're ever gonna need. It's silky, it's rich, it's not too sweet, and you can make it into any flavor you want. I prefer ice creams that use an egg custard as the base because I just love that velvety feel in the mouth. I've got egg yolks here in this bowl and I've just kind of mixed them up a little bit just to break them up. I also have heavy cream. You could use a mix of heavy cream and milk depending on how rich you want it. Sugar and salt. There are a lot of ice cream recipes out there that don't call for salt. I always just use a little pinch because I think it brings out the other flavors. Just heat it until the sugar dissolves. If I was making vanilla ice cream, at this point I would take a vanilla bean and I would throw the whole thing right in there and I'd let the vanilla infuse with the, with the cream. So you don't want this to boil. Again, you're just dissolving the sugar and you know it's dissolved. You can just stick your finger in and feel it. Yeah. You're gonna take a little bit of this out and then I'm going to add this hot milk to my egg yolks, it raises their temperature. And the aim is to warm up the yolks so that when you add them to the pot with the milk, you won't get scrambled eggs instead of custard. And again, don't over whisk this because you really don't want to get too much air in. The problem with getting too much air in a custard is that if it gets really frothy, you're not gonna be able to tell when it's done because it's gonna be all bubbly. And then this gets poured into the pot. I just want to incorporate it really quickly because I don't want any big ribbons of yolk in there and I'm just gonna let it thicken. And this is the meditative part of the recipe because you just stand here for five minutes. Just stir and you think happy thoughts or you could call your mother. I should call my mother. Hey mom. So you know that you've cooked the custard enough when it is thick enough to coat the back of the spoon and you can see that it leaves a nice track where my finger was. That means it's cooked enough. And now once it's done, you wanna strain it immediately. And then just in case, uh, little bits of it curdled. This is, see, I can see it. Look at that, see, the sec I picked up the phone and it curdled, anyway. But the, the strainer is gonna catch all these little bits. That's good, it tastes just right. And at this point, just right means a little bit too sweet because what happens is once this goes into the ice cream maker and it freezes, all of the flavors get suppressed. So you don't taste sweetness as much as you do when it's warm. I'm gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge to chill because you want it to be really cold when it goes into the ice cream maker. The beauty of this ice cream base recipe is that you can make it into any flavor you want. Right now, I'm really into strawberry, so I'm gonna make strawberry ice cream. And what's great is that you can use the really ugly ones that have a lot of flavor because you're gonna puree them anyway so they don't have to be beautiful. Now you wanna do sugar to taste. They should just be slightly sweeter than regular strawberries. A little bit of lemon juice to accentuate the tartness and then just a teeny pinch of salt. Puree this. I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge. The longer that you let your ice cream churn, the more air that you're whipping into it, and the more air that gets in there, the fluffier, but also the less rich it's gonna be. So for a very rich base, you want it to churn quickly. Bowl is very cold. That's the blade, that's what churns it. My custard, it's like pudding. And the machine is gonna do all the mixing for me so I don't have to mix them up. I'm gonna let this churn, and as soon as it's frozen, I'm gonna transfer it to another container, put it in the freezer, and let it finish freezing in the freezer. And here it is, strawberry ice cream. Cute little strawberry garnish. I mean, really, what could be better than homemade strawberry ice cream? Or chocolate, or vanilla, or caramel? As long as you start with a good base, it's gonna be delicious. Mm. Goat cheese cherry, or raspberry ripple fudge, or, or homemade mint ice cream, or rocky road, or...